All right, just want to do a quick video regarding the custom of Christmas, because since we're getting into that kind of festive type of season, I want to do a video about the fact that Christmas is not Christian, nor is it Christ ordained. Because in order for it to be a Christian holiday, it would have to be Christ ordained, and as a result of not being Christ ordained, it is not a Christian holiday. Plain and simple. Okay, uh, nowhere in Scripture did Christ ordain yearly observance of his birth. Now he did ordain remembrance of his sacrifice on the cross. Okay, Luke chapter 22, verses 29, or sorry, Luke, Luke, Luke chapter 22, verse 19 down to verse 20, do apologize. It uh, says, And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave it unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament of, in my blood, which is shed for you. So he's ordaining the remembrance, essentially the Lord's Supper, the remembrance of his sacrifice on the cross. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 down to verse 26. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it, and said, Take, uh, sorry, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, also he took the cup, uh, sorry, he took the cup, uh, when he had set, uh, supped, saying, this, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord ye do show sorry the Lord's death till he come. Not good at reading things on a computer, but we see there the remembrance of his death on the cross is ordained by Christ. Okay, uh, we're to keep in remembrance Christ's sacrifice, not his birth. First Corinthians fifteen verse one to four. Uh, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye, re ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Okay? Nowhere in scripture do we read about Christ's birth being observed as an ordination. In fact, nowhere did Christ command it, nor did any of the disciples command it or observe it. We don't see that. Okay? What we see being ordained is remembrance of his death. Okay? Remembrance of his sacrifice on the cross. And we're to keep that in remembrance. We're, not, we're, nowhere, we're never told to remember his birth. Okay? And the thing about the, you know, the, they'll use the verses about the wise men presenting gifts. Yeah, that was a one-time thing. It wasn't some kind of yearly observance they always did. Plain and simple. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, there's no scriptural evidence to back up the customs of Christmas. It's a heathen custom. And Jeremiah 10 verse 2 talks about learn not the way of the heathen. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived by all the Christmas idolatry out there. The fact that it's so heavily promoted by the lost world should already be a big red flag to the born again saint. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.